Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you're new here, I am Martina Lily, and today I'm going to show you guys five of my current favourite lip combinations for those of you that are going into the fall slash autumn season. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys, if it does go ahead and do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. Even though here in Australia we are going into the spring summer season, I absolutely love and adore fall slash autumn, depending on where you live in the world, what you call it, uh, like makeup looks and lipstick colors in particular. I really love the lipstick colors and I just thought I would share with you guys some of the lipstick combinations that I have in my collection that I think is like perfect for this season, especially if you're someone that loves pairing your makeup to your seasons. I mean, for me, I just wear a me around because where I live personally it's just hot year round so it doesn't matter. What I'm wearing on my face today will be linked in the description box down below for you guys along with the lip combinations. They are affiliate links so if you shop through them thank you so much I truly appreciate it. As a side note today is my first impressions of this new Huda Beauty Easy Pape Powder and my first first impressions is I am not a fan but we will continue to monitor the situation. This first lip combination you guys have actually seen me wear quite a bit lately and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown Lip Liner with the Dior Lip Addict Lipstick in Tartan. Now, I did not come up with this combination. I totally saw Mallory Brook, who I will link in the description box down below for you guys. She's amazing if you haven't checked her out before. She had this on like one of her Instagram looks and it was called, it was like the perfect fall lip doesn't exist and then she used this as the combo and I was like, wow. I instantly like dropped everything and went and bought the lip combo, which is very rare for me because I love a lip product, but a lipstick and a lip product is something that I don't always rush out to get because I have so much of it in my collection already and it's just not like the like I, I'm an eyeshadow kind of complexion lover first and foremost so when I see a lip combination that like stops me in my tracks and makes me go rush and buy it you know it's it's something I am going to demo these combos for you and by the end of this video my lips will kill <laughs> so this is the charlotte tilbury foxy brown lip liner what i like to do is line my lips with the foxy brown lip liner and actually kind of shade in the corners here as well and if you're wondering like the best way i get my lip lines not that i'm perfect at it is i like tilt my head back and look down in the mirror for when i'm doing my lip liner because that way i can really easily see if i've got it as even as possible as i'm gonna get it you know what i mean That is the lip liner on. Let's all ignore the crazy faces I make when I apply lip products, okay? Thanks so much. All right, now we've got this lipstick and I'm gonna put this in the center. So that's Foxy Brown and Dior Tartan. And honestly, need I say more? Do you need any more proof? This is hands down my number one favorite lip combo for fall this year. Hands down, like it is absolutely gorgeous. The lipstick is a like, it's more glossy and balm like than a satin lipstick even. So you will need to reapply it throughout the day. As you know, for me, that's completely fine. I prefer to reapply my lipstick than have like a full on liquid matte just depending on how that liquid matte would wear away. But for me, this is my kind of a vibe, you know, my kind of a, a lipstick, if you will. Uh, but I just love this. It makes the lips look juicy. It keeps them hydrated. It has this really nice, like, candy scent, but it doesn't have a fragrance taste, at least for me. And yeah, I just think, I think this is the perfect fall lip, personally. Let's all endure my awkward lip modeling. <laughs> this next lip combination is inspired by a look that I saw on Instagram from Alexandra Daddario and I saw this picture of Alexandra's makeup. I actually did a YouTube video in, I think it was like in January or something at the start of the year where I recreated that makeup look, but the lip that she used in it was the Dior like matte lip addict and I really didn't like that formula for me in particular. So this was like my duplicate, like my dupe version of it. Not in price though, because let me tell you, it's probably more expensive. But uh, the next one is this burgundy lip combination from Gucci Beauty. So this is the Gucci lip pencil in shade 6. And 
And then this is the Gucci Matte Lipstick in Joanna Burgundy. I love a deep, vampy, almost like burgundy purple lip for this kind of a season. I just think it screams like warm, cozy, mulled wine vibes. That's, that's what I love about it. And I love this particular shade. I think it's gorgeous. And I think I said this was a matte. This is actually, I think a satin type finish. It is gorgeous. It's very comfortable on the lips. The only thing about the Gucci lipstick for me is I can taste a slight fragrance taste. So if you're sensitive to that, definitely skip this. But it's not too bad. Like, I can get away with it. But I really do love just the tone and the vampiness of this lip for fall. It isn't going to set down completely. So if you're eating or like, you know, it can smudge a little bit. So just keep that in mind. You might need to reapply it and just be mindful of like, you know, the smudging. I mean, if you use a lip liner, it's not going to smudge or bleed on its own, but you know how sometimes when you eat or whatever, you might get it on your face, that kind of a thing. So it doesn't set down completely. Keep that in mind. But I mean, it's a very comfortable wearing lip. I don't mind that I have to reapply it because it is a comfortable lip. And I just, I mean, this color, right? You know, I am not doing a lip combo video without talking about my absolute favorite Lisa Eldridge. I'm not even going to go into how much I love and adore her. But I have two lip combos from her lip collection that I think is perfect for fall. She obviously will have many more, but that I have in my collection. The first one is Sorcery. Now, it might really clash with this look, but we'll see how it goes. If you are a more cool tone leaning lover, you'll probably like this lip combination a little bit more. If you're a Nineems makeup lover, you'll probably love this one a little bit more. So this is the Sorcery lip liner. And then this is the Sorcery Lipstick. This particular formula is a true velvet formula, which it feels, it's like a matte, but not a matte because it doesn't feel like a matte. Like for me, it does not dry my lips out in any way, shape or form. My lips don't get sore throughout the day. Like I can wear this kind of formula all day without my lips feeling uncomfortable. And it doesn't completely dry down. Like if you were to like kiss the back of your hand, it is a little bit like transfer proof. But these are the longest lasting lip products I own in my collection, even over liquid lips. Like I will wear a True Velvet formula from Lisa or even the Insanely Saturated formula from Lisa. I will put it on in the morning and throughout my coffee consumption, my eating and everything, it will still be on in the afternoon. That has been my experience at least. And I just love that it doesn't dry down completely. So the wear away, even if it is to wear away, is very natural and fuss free. Not like that awkward matte flaking that you can get sometimes. It doesn't give me butthole lips. It hydrates my lips, but the length of time that it wears is immaculate and it doesn't get over my face either. So the true velvet formula in terms of a long wear formula in particular, chef's kiss for me. It's like my all time favorite out of all of my lipsticks, but also like this shade. Mm, fire. If you are someone that up until this point, you're like, these lipsticks are all beautiful, but they're a little bit too deep for me on the everyday or my comfort zone, then this is the lip combination for you. So we are now going to put on Lisa Eldridge Fawn. So this is the Fawn lip liner and then the Fawn True Velvet lipstick. This is Lisa Eldridge Fawn lip liner and lipstick on the lips. It is kind of just a perfect like neutral nudey, depending on your skin tone nude, uh, lip color with a little bit more warmth and like pumpkin spice to it, but only a touch. So if you're someone that really just likes to stay in that lane of quite a like pale brown nudie kind of lip. This is something that will translate really well if you're in the mood for those like pumpkin-y tones but want something pared down. Does that make sense? It is the same formula as the Sorcery lipstick so it's very long wearing but again very comfortable, doesn't give me butthole lips, doesn't budge, like wears all day. It's a really a beautiful lip formula. This is actually the first ever Lisa lipstick I bought as well. 
For our last lip combo, I've actually just left the Lisa Aldridge Fawn lip liner on my lips and just removed the lipstick because this, I don't have like a matching lip liner for this lip product. And this lip product is the brand new release from Odin's Eye Cross Angie Nyquist. This is one of her lips. This is the matte lip in Swamp Frog, Swamp Fog, sorry, and it is perfect for this upcoming season. Well, for those of you going into it. So let me apply it. Let us pretend that lip lines are okay. But this is Swamp Fog from Angie and Odin's Eye. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It is like a, it's kind of like the color of my top, almost like a rustic ready brown. I really, really, really like it. And I actually like to take this one a step further and top it off with the Radioactive Lip Gloss from the same collection. I just feel like this creates this really beautiful, juicy pumpkin lip. I really, really do. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, this formula from Odin's Eye reminds me of the Kaleidos Lip Clays, but not as powdery or like matte on the lips. It doesn't completely set down. It still transfers a little bit. So it's not as long wearing. Like I find the Lisa Eldridge True Velvet lipsticks a lot more long wearing. But again, I don't find this gives me butthole lips. I find it really comfortable. It doesn't move around my face or anything like that. And it's very easy to reapply. So I actually really do quite like the Odin's Eye lip formula of these. Like personally, I really, really do. I think it's quite a nice formula. Honorable shout out because there is also the matte lipstick called Shadow Creature, which I do really like as well. And this is kind of like a ready brick brown, if you will, which is this one right here. So if you are maybe a deeper skin tone, for example, and want something this vibe, then you could go for this one, Swamp Creature, and you're going to get a similar vibe. Um, or if you're someone that just wants a deeper lip in general, then there is this one as well. And I will link my review of the Odin's Eye collection that Angie did down below because I actually did lip looks with both of the lips in that video as well if you want to see them on but I personally prefer this one this is just more my vibe but I do think if you're a deeper skin tone and want something quite similar without it being lighter go for Swamp Creature for sure that is five current favorite lip combinations that I am loving and using for this fall autumn season I'm aware in Australia we're not in that season but I, I love to live vicariously through the rest of the world during this time. I really do. I just really get into the spirit of it. And that's just me. Okay, take it with a grain of salt. It's just a bit of makeup fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you got some inspo from those color combos. Let me know some of your favorite like autumn fall lip combos down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate you. I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.